As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, may I come in? Poor Grandma was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up with one big bite. But Grandma was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed, that's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I've had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping. I leave with a frightful leer. I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Red, Riding Hood, comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself with coat and hat and put on shoes and after that. Then he, then he sat in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped, she stared, and then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you in, replied the wolf. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the, all the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her, Grandma, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a great, big, lovely furry coat you have on! That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Oh, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The, the little girl smiles, one eye flickers. She whips the pistol from her knickers. She aims at the creature's head, and bang, 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 the, she shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what I changed, now cloak of red, now silly head upon her head. She said, hello, and do please not. I love my furry wolf skin coat. 